Hi and welcome Cancer, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your October 2021 Tarot reading. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly. Before we dive in, there is a new competition for October, so if you want to win some Oracle decks, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel this month and you'll go into the draw to win the beautiful Sacred Rebels Oracle by Lana Fairchild. Amazing deck, that one. And for those that do follow me regularly, I'll be looking for a very positive community member. You'll go into the draw to win the Enchanted Map Oracle and uh, we will actually be using that deck today. Mm -hmm. And extended versions of this reading is available. So if you want to get a hold of that, you just have to hit the join button on my channel to become a VIP member. You'll also get the extended version of this monthly one, the mid-monthly forecast, as well as a bonus love reading every month. So if you want to invest in yourself, go and check those out. My personal readings are open. There is a special happening in October. You can get $20 off my renewal package, which includes a one-hour personal reading, as well as a one-hour distance Reiki energy healing session. Grab your coupon code that's on here, valid to the end of the month. The booking form link is also going to pop up so you can learn more about it. So reach out if you feel like you need extra guidance and support at this time. All right, Cancer, let's dive in. So we're jumping straight into predictions. We're going to be using the Angel Wisdom Tarot and let's see what you need to know. Clear guidance for cancer, please. Oh, I've got to say, he wants to give you the whole deck. Here we go. Oh, you've got the star card, which is very much about having faith in the future. Uh, your dreams coming true, your wishes coming true, your plans working out. Um, it can certainly represent overcoming challenging times in your life, big positive shift in energy moving forward. And you've got the six of earth, so it can represent, you know, the effort that you're making, um, certainly money coming back to you. Uh, it can represent unexpected money coming in, the ability to pay off debts, loans. Okay, you've also got the three of air. So for some of you going through a time of sadness, grief, loss, so you may have physically lost someone from your world, still working through that process. Uh, there can be something that's challenged or been challenging in your life, like a life experience, uh, relationship breakdown. It's about taking that time to heal. Yeah. Okay, that one's flying out. You've also got the ego, which is a false sense of entrapment, holding yourself stuck, afraid to take action. Uh, it can be fear-based, things going on, lack of self-confidence. Uh, Spirit saying you can cut through those chains at any time and release yourself, Cancer. You've also got the Nine of Fire, which is protecting what you've been creating, not giving up on yourself, asking the universe for help if you're feeling a little bit challenged. But Spirit saying keep moving forward. Yeah, you're on the right path for you. Don't give up. All right, you got two here. You've got the Eight of Water, which is a desire to move on. Uh, for some of you, it can be certainly relocating, it's leaving all the empty cups behind, all the burdens behind, fresh, brand new start in your life, making big life changes. Some of you definitely moving, relocating, possibly buying a new home. And you've also got the Three of Water, which is this beautiful sense of celebration with family, with friends. can be some sort of like birth announcements, wedding announcements, some sort of social event you're going to. Certainly can be related to baby's graduation, yeah. Related to family and friends. And you've also got the High Priestess. So whether you're a guy or a girl, um, doing your spiritual practices, seeking your spiritual guidance, whatever that is for you.
and you've got the page of air so it's directly related to the ego and feeling stuck so it can be challenging information coming in that you might need to process or work through uh seeing the truth in situations how you're responsible how you're showing up in life uh you know it can be that there's sort of some sort of document or contract coming in where you need to look at the fine print And you've got the page of fire, exciting new opportunity coming in towards you, uh, you know, very much related to your passions. And uh, But Spirit's saying you still need to finish what you've started. So if you're working on something, you might need to tidy that up before you take up something new. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Muse Tarot. So some mixed energies coming through. There's certainly some blessings coming in. Certainly a need to work through some stuck states, particularly emotionally. Oh, you've got the night of voices. So, you know, he's flying through the air. It's about looking at situations and figuring out how you need to rise above them. What's going to lift you up to take action to move forward? It's directly related to making big life changes. And you've got the two of materials, which is juggling too much, doing too much, a need for balance in your life between work and your personal life. This is interesting. You've got the hermit related to the high priestess. So taking that quiet time for self, absolutely doing your, seeking your spiritual guidance, um, your truths around self, what's important to you at this time. And you've got the four of inspiration. Again, represents celebration with your soul tribe, your family, your friendships. And you've got the three of inspiration. So whatever you're working on, Spirit's saying it's in progress. It hasn't quite come to gestation yet now or yet. All right, let's put some guidance in terms of messages from your angels. Oh, you've got Archangel Sandalfern. I've heard your call for help. Your prayer will soon be answered. So whatever you've asked for this, your spirit guides, your angels are behind you. And you've also got to imagine, clearly visualize the life you want, feel it in your heart and soul, and so it will come to be. Getting very clear about what you want your life to be like, Cancer. And you also pulled achievement. Take a little time to reflect on what you've achieved today. It's easy to forget where you started from and how far you've come. Honour and be grateful for this extraordinary journey that is your life. Which is a beautiful reminder because we can often be very future orientated here and think about how, many, how much more we've got to do versus realising how far we've come. All right, let's put you some guidance from the uh, Nature's Whispers Oracle in terms of what you need to focus on right now. Oh, you got the message to make a wish. So what is it that you want, Cancer? The Spirit's saying put those beautiful positive vibrations out to the universe because they're absolutely listening at this time. And you've also got the big picture, which is looking above things, uh, challenges in your life, perhaps having a fresh approach to what you want to create in your life, what direction do you want to head in. And you've also got gratitude and appreciation, which whenever we practice the art of gratitude and appreciation, it always moves us from a state of lack into a state of positivity. So the blessings that are already in your life, being very grateful for those. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Enchanted Map Oracle, which is the deck up for grabs. Ah, you've pulled Talisman. I'll bring it really close, right? She's holding a beautiful ball in her hand, with lots of light emanating from it. So it can mean that you can have a come across an important talisman, whether it be a crystal, whether it be some sort of like jewellery or 
a significant object that catches your eye and it's not only the energy of that it's it's what it means to you it's going to give you that boost of energy um, to move forward to lift your spirits so uh, you may find that it's going to come to you in the, it's often what we're drawn to yeah or we may have a message within ourselves to go and get a particular crystal or a particular object that's kind of spiritual inspiring to us um, even if it's a beautiful book to do your journaling in yeah spirit saying it would be very uh, beneficial for you at this time it can certainly be something that's going to catch your eye all right let's put you some guidance from the divine circus oracle what is it cancer needs to know at this time Ah, you've got rare, raw, and real. Have a look at that. It's like she's been naked with life, yeah? She's a little wild, I've got to say. All right, let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Cancer, there is a unique beauty in you that wants to shine through. It is different. It might not be neat, pretty, and tidy, and you might even feel vulnerable about sharing this real unveiled you with the world do it anyway because the world wants to love you the the rare raw and real you and it's time to peel back the layers and unearth the real you naked vulnerable real and beautiful with every layer of hiding and protection removed you'll encounter whatever it was that caused those layers of self-protection to be built up in the first place maybe a sense of shame fear hate doubt or anger and these feelings might seem so confronting that you'll wonder if they're a sign to back off. It can, if you can affirm your love for yourself and a willingness to be patient whilst you become ready to be known and seen and loved for who you are. Underneath those layers of pain, then you'll find it easier for them to fall away. And as this happens, there will be a revelation of the raw, the real and the real you that you didn't even know was there. So pure, so powerful, so precious. The inner light of you will shine through like a lantern suddenly illuminated with the radiance of you lighting up the dark. And revealing the true you isn't about exhibitionism or putting yourself on display. Someone could walk naked on a beach completely comfortable with their physical appearance and yet not be in touch with the true beauty of their soul. Their radiance dulled and their authenticity a mystery even to them. So this oracle comes to you if you're one of those special ones capable of dropping the defensive posture of perfection, of holding genuine compassion and goodwill towards yourself and others, and with a willingness to be shown who you are. Rather than reacting with fear of being judged, you choose to treat this revealed self as a precious divine creature, to be loved and nurtured into full aliveness. And in being brave enough to do this, you help empower others to be their true selves as well, to be less afraid of what makes them different, to embrace their uniqueness and to feel the divine dignity that is rightfully ours when we choose to simply be who we are. Oh, what a gorgeous message. There's a healing ritual here. I think it would be super important for you to do, yeah? It says to say this chant aloud or sing it if you wish. You can just listen, right? It says strange beauty, rare, raw and real my authentic self I now reveal. Now you're going to create a truly unique creature in your mind and if you're feeling particularly daring you can act it out too and say I have the wings of freedom and what do your wings look and feel like? Are they heavy or light? Are they powerful? Are they like a butterfly, an angel, a bird, a dragonfly or an aeroplane? Can you practice flying with your wings, perhaps by running around the lounge room for a moment in full flight? That's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. And say aloud, I have the heart of courage. What does your heart look and feel like? Does it have a color? Does it have a particular rhythm as its beat? Does it look like a heart or a lion or a rampaging river or galaxy? Is it a perfect ruby or a massive planet? And say aloud, I have the feet of an adventurer. And what do your feet look and feel like? Are they human feet or are they hooves of a wild brumby? The booted feet of an intrepid explorer? The graceful and strong feet of a ballerina? The bare feet of a dancing gypsy? Or the powerful tail of a mermaid? 
Let your feet move freely in a way they want to move. A gallop of a horse, the dance of a gypsy, or the firm steps of an explorer. And say aloud, I have the voice of the soul. And what does your voice feel and sound like? Is it a bold bird call piercing through the air? Is it the roar of a lion upon the African plain? Or the deep sonic resonance of a whale's song in the depths of the ocean? Is it like the crystal shattering voice of a diva soprano? or the whispering of Mother Nature on the gentle breeze. And perhaps use your voice and let it express the true nature in this moment and what sound does your true soul voice want to express and then say, I am a creature unique and proud of all that I am. I am rare, raw and real, strangely beautiful and beautifully strange. My quirks and oddities, the parts that don't really fit in neatly, are a part of what makes me special and you've finished your healing ritual. Uh, and there's a very brief affirmation here, which is rare, raw, and real. My true self, I gracefully reveal. So being so authentic, loving all parts of self, yeah. Not having to change who you are to fit in, to be loved, to be accepted, just being you. Mm -hmm. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Those of you watching the free version of this reading, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Absolutely helps my channel. Plus, you go into the competition. We're diving straight into the extended neck. So if you want to get a hold of that, hit the join button on my channel. Um, I've got to say, I do love this. Getting really true and real with who you are. Yeah, stripping back all the layers. Finding that authenticity, what's important to you. Um, I think the talisman's really interesting. I'd love to hear your feedback during the month if you find a special talisman that uh, lights up your soul. I love the star card for you, this beautiful um, sense of things working out perfectly for you, having this bright, beautiful, positive faith in the future, your dreams coming true. There's certainly some unexpected money abundance coming in, but you've also got to co-create that, yeah. And, you know, there's this sense of celebration. It's come through twice. So there's certainly some things that are going to happen in, in October related to friends and family. Beautiful sense of connectedness to friends and family. And this is coming through really strongly. I mean, there's opportunities coming through for you as well. But, you know, this desire to move in a new direction to make these big life changes. And let's put Archangel Sandalfin here, which is all about prayers being answered, yeah. Anything that comes through about any of these states where you're feeling a bit stuck, yeah, going through periods of loss or grief, we'll work through those as well. Whatever else is coming towards you in terms of blessings, love, um, things around career, your higher states of consciousness, your chakra balance, messages from spirit we'll dive into. So those of you leaving us right now, it's been awesome to have you here to make sure to come back again. Don't forget, grab your coupon code if you want to take advantage of that special offer and get $20 off the renewal package this month. All the info is on here or down below. VIP members, those going into the extended, hang around. We're going to be doing your general energies next.